Connor, back to league action tomorrow against Eastleigh. But first, just a touch on that uh, result on Saturday against Bromley. Yeah, obviously we're, we're disappointed as a group to be out of the competition. Um, I think you can see with the selection that was forced upon us. It wasn't a case of obviously resting people. We had the bench were pretty much either just returned from injury or patched up and no one was fit enough to start the game. And obviously you see Pritchard, Akimo, um, a few others obviously that have been longer term injuries as well. Not, and Thompson obviously struggles on the Astro. So you've got lads there that obviously would normally play but have little niggles and did for various reasons. So... This is the lads that played, obviously were disappointed, were disappointed in the performance, but it's hard when you're patching lads up and trying to get a team out, obviously we were forced to put that selection out, so obviously you have basically Connor Stevens, you want to recognise ten and a half, and even him couldn't train leading up to it, He's, he pretty much didn't get to train with his injury, so he was carrying a niggle as well, so fair play to him for playing through it, and I thought, I thought the lads applied themselves, but obviously were disappointed with the result and disappointed with the performance, but again, it's tough when obviously you have injuries and you can't feel the team you want and obviously work on the bits you want. So we knew it was always going to be tough, especially when you're going to a team that are third in the league and obviously on, on an Astro and all, all the other various reasons. But this is the, the lads gave it their everything, that's all we can ask. Obviously we're just disappointed, but we move on now. We won't dwell on it and we'll move on to the next game. We're obviously lads returning, so that's the key bit. Obviously missing lots of key players, played a big part on Saturday and going to a team third in the table. 48 hours after results. What sort of things do you think we can improve on from that result for the players who were on the pitch? Uh, listen, it's hard. I mean, you, ch you change any team in the top seven in the league and change eight, seven, eight or not regular starters. Obviously, everyone's going to struggle. So, we um, we'll have luckily we'll have players returning back into the team going ahead tomorrow. So we'll have a more normal if I, if we if to use it to use the word that we obviously can use. So be more usual team that we probably would usually select. So we we know obviously the different the difficulties that come with injuries. So we, we we're getting the regular players back out. And that's the key. If we can get more to what we had previous in the season with with the starting eleven, then we'll be in a better place. So we have hopefully closer to that to come tomorrow night. I guess one positive to take from Saturday is seeing the returns of Nicky Gorms and Freeman. How good is it to get those sort of key players back into the squad? Of course, it's brilliant. Listen, you don't you don't want them three sat on your bench, do you? So even that shows they weren't quite ready to start, but. With every minute they played, obviously it's good to get them the three one minutes coming off the bench, so that means they're closer to start. And so, Nicky may be in contention now to, to maybe be in a conversation to start games. Obviously, he's built up gradually over the recent few games. So, with Gomes and Freers, it's good to get the minutes. So, we'll keep trying to build them up as best we can in, in leading into the last few games of the season. Obviously, now we're sort of entering the running. How important is it to make sure that Saturday's game doesn't sort of linger on the mind and we focus on the league when we're in second in the table and a, potentially a playoff push? No, oh, listen. We'll be, as I said, we, don't, we, don't, we haven't dwelled on it. We've we spoke to the players. That there's no there's no point doing anything, especially at this point of the season. The games are coming thick and fast, and as the gaffer said, it's relentless the division. So we won't dwell on it. We've moved past it already, but it's just obviously keen to address the the, the selection, obviously, and the, the injury we had. So it's not a case that we were resting or to, or turning our nose up with the competition. We would have loved to, to carry on the competition, but we were we were forced to, to go ahead with what we had, and obviously we tried to do the best we could have it, and weren't enough to go and beat third in the division away from home. Take on Eastley tomorrow, back in the National League. What sort of challenge can we expect from them tomorrow? Uh, it's their front two. We saw when we played them away earlier in the season, their front two are potent when they get the chance. Um, the new manager gone in, they've done brilliant. They've picked up since the new manager gone in. Obviously, it's no surprise it does tend to happen, but they've done a bit more, more organised. And to be fair to McCallum, he just keeps on scoring. We know that he's a, he's a seasoned player for the level and he scored a lot of goals and himself and quickly have been a real problem for the back line. So it'll be no different tomorrow night. We, our lads know what, what's, what's going to come with their physicality. And obviously, you've got to keep them out of the box because to be fair to McCallum, he scores a lot of headers. So we've got to try and defend that box as best we can and keep them away from a goal if we can. And back at the Hive tomorrow, Dean gave a bit of a rally cry after on the interview on Saturday. How important is it for the fans to come down to the Hive and back the beat? Of course it is. It's massive. Listen, you, we had a great follow on Saturday and we're very thankful for the ones that made the journey down. Um, obviously last Tuesday, we, we know Tuesday nights are obviously tough, but if we can get even more than we had last Tuesday, it helps. Any sort of atmosphere obviously helps the boys to drive them over the line. So if anyone come down, it's a massive part of the season for us. And obviously with, with the, the squad being stretched thin, it just gives us an extra 1% for each player. So it makes a massive difference for us. And obviously, we've already touched on about the, the injury crisis we've sort of got going on in the minute. Did everyone who played on Saturday manage to get through that game fine? And is there any other updates you can give us? Yeah, listen, Conor Stevens obviously had a reaction. He um he had, to, he had to play with a niggle, so that's, that's the position we were in. We, we didn't have the luxury of playing even 11 fit players, so we would obviously monitor him as we go. And we've got hopefully players returning that weren't available Saturday, and, and obviously the players that did come on are a little bit even closer now, fitness wise. So it's, we're slowly getting there, and we're hopeful that we'll have. A full full strength squad bearing one or two coming in the in the next week or so. So that's the plan. Obviously, we've got to build up to that and make sure we don't overuse players that are just coming back and set them back even further. So it's it's a, it's a balancing act, especially when you obviously we're in a rush to get players back, but also we don't want to give them any sort of long term damage. So 
we're kind of just feeling what we can at the minute. Obviously, getting players by, but thankfully it's our last Tuesday game for for a little while, so it gives a bit of rest by after tomorrow and Saturday. So it's a big week for us. Get through these two games, do the best we can. Hopefully, pick up six points, and then we can have a little bit of a, uh, a rest by for a week, and obviously see where we are with injuries. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers, thank you.